Welcome to SBTV. I'm here with one of the most sought after music directors in the whole of the world with 40 videos under her belt in just four years. It's Melina Matsukas. Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to London. How are you finding it? Thank you. I love it. It reminds me a lot of New York. And <laughs> so um, some people might not know who you are uh, just to look at you, but they'll definitely know your work. You work with Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Rihanna, Eve, Snoop Dogg. How, how did you get started? Um, I went to NYU, I went to film school, and while I was at film school, I worked at a small production company in New York, and I PA'd, and um, I was in film, and I've always loved music. So music videos seem like the obvious kind of start for me. And um, as a filmmaker, you can be super ex um, experimental and creative, and you can really have fun with the genre, so it felt perfect. And um, I just PA'd and interned, and I worked on my own projects while I was at school. My thesis out of NYU and then in graduate school were actually music videos. So I took those music videos and I got a manager, and she started shopping my work around and kind of blew up pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I know the Ludacris video was a breakthrough for you, right? Yeah, that was my first like major budget. Um, maybe my third video or something like that, my third like real. Not real, but professionally <laughs> done video through a proper record label. Um, it was quite a challenge, but I made it through. <laughs> and uh, there's some people that you work with quite a lot, like you've got quite a good relationship with Rihanna. You must uh, know her quite well now, right? Yeah, we, we've collaborated on three videos so far, and um, she's just great, like has really great taste and great ideas, and, and we definitely get each other, so I love working with her. Tonight I'ma give it to you harder. I know it's a bit controversial when you did the Rude Boy video and it got compared to a lot of the MIA stuff. How was that? That was not fun. <laughs> I mean, you know, you work so hard on something and then it, it just got kind of like slammed and it wasn't at all the intention, I feel like, you know. Especially in our generation, we're definitely affected by the same kind of references and ideas and people and cultures, you know. And it just kind of came out like that. And, I love it. <laughs> no, no, same. I love it. Very um, on the sexy side of life as well. It's quite nice. Um, but one of my favourite videos of yours is the Beyonce one when she kind of takes on the Betty Page. Mm -hmm. how, d how did that come around? She just called me up and was like, I want to do this video and not tell anyone and pay for it out of my own pocket and just kind of have fun oh. and see what you can do this. Um, so, and I want to do something like, you know, a modern take on Betty Page. And so I just, you know, crammed and got a bunch of references and old movies and I came up with the idea and a bunch of setups and we just had fun with it. Like, we totally approached it like a student film. We had no money. Um, yeah, and, and she actually did her own makeup. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a really collaborative effort and um, she's amazing. It was actually great and we shot in this man's house who was like 90 years old and actually like Dorothy Dandridge's PR person. So he was really like keyed into like old black Hollywood and really excited about it. And his house looked pretty much like what we shot. We just added a couple bits and pieces and you had an old car. It was kind of like miraculous how everything came together. And um, yeah, we just collaborated and that's probably like my favorite project that I've done. I'm gonna take my time. Also, one of my favorites has to be Snoop Dogg's Central Seduction. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> how, how is he to work with? He's actually super amazing, too. Um, you know, you walk into that kind of situation and you're like, he's a pimp. I don't know how he's gonna react yeah. to <laughs> a female director, what's gonna happen. But um, they sent me that song originally just to see if I was into it. And I love, obviously, a lot of things really retro. Yeah and vintage and um, after speaking to him he just kind of wanted to take it all the way there and do kind of like an homage to like Zap and all those guys who used to do the, the whole auto-tune kind of feel. 
And um, so I put together some stuff and we came on set and we just, probably that's the most fun I've ever had on set. And yeah. he's like taking his shirt off and dancing yeah. and I'm okay. dancing with him. And yeah. you know, we just kind of like goofed off and yeah. created something amazing. And um, as I say, you've worked on a lot of huge videos. Have, do you feel like you've ever kind of messed up along the way? Have, have there been any like big mistakes that you've, you've learned from? I mean, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I come from a, you know, from a job without regretting something I did or wishing I had done something, you know, different. Um, but to me, that's what being an artist is about. It's yeah, about yeah. learning from your mistakes and trying to do better each time. And, you know, I feel like my bit biggest competitor is myself and yeah. trying to outdo myself each time. And probably I hate most of the stuff I do. Yeah, <laughs> seriously? I I'm my worst critic. Um, but I think, you know, it makes me better too. Yeah. And how is it being a woman in a predominantly male-dominated arena, really? Um, it works both ways. I think sometimes it's a challenge, you know, and people you know, like to challenge you and, yeah. and don't think you know what you're talking about until you put them in their place. Yeah. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> no. Um, but, you know, yeah. And then sometimes it's great. You can work your little, you know, womanly attributes yeah. and it works too. So, you know, it has its, its pluses and its minuses, but mm. it's been good for me. Do you feel like you've had to prove yourself more? Definitely. I think, you know, as a woman and as, as a woman of color, like, I've definitely had to prove myself and, you know, but that's why I, I educated myself and I went to yeah. NYU and I got my graduate degree just, and also as a director, I felt like it was important for me to know my options and yeah. to be able to communicate with the crew and everybody I work with and, you know, a place of knowledge and not, you know, but at the same time, I, I'm not scared to ask questions and yeah, yeah. it's a learning process every day, every time I learn something new. Yeah. Um, are you at the stage now when you feel you can kind of like pick and choose what you want to do, music-wise? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm, I've always been pretty picky, but yeah, especially now, I probably pass on the majority of stuff. Like, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of great music, but there's also a lot of bad music. Yeah. Um, and there's, you know, I have to be moved by the music or the artist or the visual, something involved, and you know, I think my taste is not for everyone and that's okay you know yeah. there's somebody for everyone and and you know it's a select few that i actually enjoy yeah. wow nice <laughs> well well yeah it sounds like you've got a really great future ahead of you lots of exciting things that's been melina matsuka's popping her london cherry thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> Sensual seduction. Sensual seduction.